new PM arriving for her first full day of conference, but what was meant to be a victory lap has instead morphed into a fight for survival, hoping to turn the troubles of the last week around. Any regrets, Prime Minister? But first, an admission. I do stand by the package we announced, and I stand by the, by the fact that we announced it quickly because we had to act. But I do accept we should have laid the ground better. I have learnt from that, and I will make sure that in future we do a better job of laying the ground. In the job less than a month, these first weeks of her premiership could not have been worse. But who to blame? Can I ask you, Prime Minister, did you discuss scrapping the top rate with your whole cabinet? No. Do no, we didn't. It was a decision that um, the Chancellor made. This is a Prime Minister remaining resolute, sticking to her plan. Plans they both seem comfortable with, but these deeply uncomfortable times. For a minute's silence. A moment of unity, a minute's silence paying tribute to the Queen. This a party pretending they're on the same page. Is your party united, Amory Trevelyan? Yeah, it's looking good. Very much so. I think we're all very united indeed. But within this conference and throughout the party too, deep division. This man, a Tory big beast, not convinced the economic priorities are right. I think it would be wise for us to recognise that they are neither the right economic nor the right political response to the situation that we face at the moment. I think that the 45 to 40 pence tax cut is wrong. And I think that uh, the... Therefore, the, yes. It should go. Yes. Party chairman Jake Berry calling for cohesion, suggesting Conservative MPs who don't vote for the budget should lose the whip. What I would say to colleagues is we have a new Prime Minister. She has a mandate both from colleagues and our membership. She absolutely has a plan for this country that will create economic growth, the benefit of which will be felt by every household in this country. We need to get on and implement that plan. We need to unify behind that plan. But unity is not the name of the game around here. Former cabinet ministers are coming out publicly to tell the prime minister to change course. Whilst two senior Conservative MPs told me that colleagues were actively looking at trying to change party rules to oust Liz Truss and replace her quickly without another long drawn out leadership race. This is not how she hoped it would be. Protest on the inside and the outside too. The party uneasy and the polls suggesting the public are far from sold. This a Prime Minister back into battle. Beth Rigby, Sky News in Birmingham.